Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I have just a quick video. I um, I have the um, scrapbook paper block from Daphne's Diary. This is number three. I have a flip through of this, so I'm going to show you this um, because it's just gorgeous and I just got it. Um, but also I wanted to chat a little bit about my glue book. I showed a little peek about it, sneak peek on it in a past video and many of you wanted to see what that's all about so i want to talk about that a little bit i want to give you some ideas on really easy ways to um, make a glue book if you wanted to start one yourself and hopefully you'll have some inspiration i will have a timestamp if you wanted to skip right to the flip through um, i will do that as well and i do have a discount code for daphne's diary which i will link those details below um, if you're interested in purchasing anything in their shop, I also have a playlist for them as well. So let me get started. I have to show you just a couple things that I've been making, um, kind of reusing a few things and, um, making a glue book, a really easy and fun glue book. But I'm also going to show you a few different ways that you can make one. I've shared many of these ideas on my channel before, but I thought I would just kind of refresh it a little bit in a past video like not long ago i showed you a few pages in this repurposed planner so i have this planner um, that i didn't actually end up using and it is one of those planners that has like you know these types of pages i love the paper itself because it's very thick like it's thicker than photocopy paper um, but not so thick that I think it'll bulk up. I love the idea of removing the pages because it's easier for me to work that way. And um, I started playing with my Daphne's diary, not necessarily like, um, you know, just randomly, but this is more of like an inspiration glue book. That's what I'm going to call it because the images and things I'm using in this planner are like really inspiring to me. Uh, and I tend to go with, you know, kind of different types of of um, kind of creative journals and, and glue books and that sort of thing. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on ways to repurpose maybe old planners that you just didn't get to finish. I also pull out pages from my planners that I didn't use, uh, especially if they have like gorgeous images that I want to cut and use in something else. So I kind of see them as like additional scrapbook papers. Um, so anyways, this um, this is so far like um, some of the pages I'm going to show you are some of my favorite pages in here. And so this is an image that came from the Daphne's Diary magazine. I love the idea of this gorgeous like organized space. And then um, within that article, it said, behind the camera it's a big mess and I think that's just such a great reminder for not only myself but for everyone that when you see things of course you know um, shared on social media you see the the images that um, you know people have taken time to set up and and just make sure that it looks just gorgeous because of course that's inspiring but not necessarily everyone lives like that. So that's kind of like my first page and reminder that it's okay to not have a super organized space, um, but it's a gorgeous inspiration regardless, right? So that was my first page there. I'm gonna move this a little bit because this is also some of my Daphne's Diary bits and bobs that I've cut out. And I think so I'm just going to put it aside here. I think I need to show you that in a bit as well. All right. So basically, I took a planner, as I said. I'm repurposing the pages that I didn't use. I took out the pages that I did use, and I just sort of um, stapled those together and put a cover on it that has the date, like the year. I love to look back on my calendar pages. I don't know about you, but I do that all the time. And I love to look back on them because even if it's little things, sometimes that I forget we did you know, that year, that month, that day, it's kind of nice to have it as a, oh my gosh, this was the day that this happened. Even if there's no more journaling on it, the memory is still there because I put the date down and I, you know, I kind of wrote it on that day. This in itself, there's no date. This is just inspiration pieces that I love 
things that inspire me, colors, designs, that sort of thing. All Daphne's Diary here. I've used some of the stickers from their sticker collection as well. And if you haven't seen that unboxing, or I should say flip through, because I did a flip through of their sticker books. Um, they have such gorgeous sticker books. So anyways, you can check those out. This was one of my favorite issues. I don't remember what issue it was, but it had this gorgeous um, antique store. So I kept some of the pieces. Uh, I cut up some of the pieces from those pages. Um, this was also on the page. This is one of the stickers that I thought went really well with it. And then you can see there's like a difference in color and design here. So I can actually sh pull this off and move it around if I want to. But I wanted to show you that that's the main reason why I love this glue book. Because it's just almost like curated, right? It's things that I, I that I really like and things that inspired me. This one says every artist was first an amateur, which of course is so relatable. I change, I turn the page here, and then again I have um, things that I've cut out from the magazine. Another sticker that I've added. So I've left this space because I might just keep adding to it, or I might, you know, put down a little quote or something that inspires me when I look at it. And that's the purpose of this. Like, I love the design in the background of this gorgeous floral. I like the way that this was um, written down, like that sort of thing, right? The script, the text, that's, that's that kind of stuff. On this page, um, I just took this right out of the magazine because it sort of gives you the steps of what they use to make this gorgeous, like, laminated um, dry flowers and I thought like that is so cute and I wanted to keep that of course I used page for the background a little washi tape and another one of the stickers so if you have like a collection of goodies I like to sort them in like themes or things that I'm working in and so this is where you know that's going and again I'll show you some other ways that I have um, sort of done glue books before which I love so here I'm just turning to this page to show you. This is just a blank page. I started on this one and I still haven't finished it. And that is also okay because I'm, you know, I have to find the time that I'm going to sit and just enjoy gluing things down. I like to listen to music when I do that or a podcast just so that I'm focused on what I'm doing. But, you know, also my brain is sort of listening to something else that I enjoy. And um, I have quite a few pages. I pulled out a lot of pages in this one and I've got a lot more work to do. But this is, like I said, a very um, kind of like an intentional glue book. OK, so that's like my Daphne's Diary inspired one. In the past, I have shown you quite a few different ones, but this is actually I have a few of these. I think I have shown you how I put this one together, the cover and how I made the inside. This is reusing junk mail envelopes and what i mean by that is just mail stuff that comes in the mail right and i love repurposing those because for a long time even before i started this channel i would take the envelopes and make them into notebooks and that's how i would just jot down grocery lists and um just kind of like the monthly things because i knew that after a while i would just throw that out and i didn't have to worry about it but i had it in a spot that um, you know, that helps me. I still do that. I don't decorate those. But this one I used as my kind of like glue book and doodle book. So you can see the cover is an envelope. Pretty things inside. It's in the details. I remember doing that. And then this one I did date when I started it, April 2022. And then I just kept filling it. And that's what I love about these types of glue books because still things that I enjoy, things that I had, maybe something that was going on at the time. For example, um, this movie was big, I think, at the time. And this is the, um, oh, now I forgot the name of it, Turning Red. And it was such a cute movie. Um, <laughs> you know, it just, I had to kind of put that in. It was part of like the magazine at the time that, you know, you kind of get a magazine with all the different images. Um, from films um, this is uh, transit in Toronto um, so it's like a you know a street car so I wanted to kind of include that because um, the artist comes from uh, Toronto or at least in Canada um, one of the designers of the film and I thought it was just such a, a thing to keep but like I said it's just sometimes it's just random 
and it's just things that I, you know, at the time I enjoyed looking at or I wanted to remember or I was just I had on my desk and I wanted to make something with it. And the beauty of this type of um, glue book is that you don't have to worry about wasting paper, let's say, because I know a lot of people say I don't want to, you know, do something and then feel like I wasted the paper. If it's just envelopes um, or just blank pages that you are adding to I think that just makes it so much more fun because you get to finish something and you know it was just time that you had that you relaxed and you enjoyed doing a little crafting it didn't have to be anything fancy and now you have something that has a little reminder of things that you enjoyed so anyways that's another way that I love to do my um, journals or at least my glue books I should say um, and so I am actually working on a couple more things with um, I would say more of my Daphne's diary stuff this was actually from one of the planner um, the planner pages that I didn't use and so of course it has this image and I want to make something with it because it's gorgeous and as you can see I didn't use any of that uh, but I mean, I still love some of the edges, so I'll see if I if I need to save any of it. But what I'm going to be making, um, and I've started a couple of pages just to show you, is uh, one of my reference books, like an ideas book, where you add um, different things to the pages that you want to remember to do in a future journal, maybe, or a future project. So different ways that you can add things to your journal pages. I have maybe three or four videos on different styles of ideas journals or reference journals and I will link those below if you haven't seen them. I, those are one of some of my favorite journals to go back and, and check out. So I started this one um, just adding a page here because I just love that image and there's um, a little kind of... Um, paragraph here that says I'm never parting with this and I think it's just the way I feel with um, the type of crafting that I do I just you know it's random I love it and it just inspires me so on the other side again I used pages from the Daphne's diary magazine and then I just made a belly band so I still have to decorate maybe something I covered a lot of the text because I really didn't need it but I wanted to see the the images and I wanted to have like a, a belly band so the idea is I'll be adding things to this belly band that'll make it a little different than the ones I've done before and then another page that I've started is again just another type of pocket this one I think was part of their planner I think because it's a thicker paper so anyway so I used it as a pocket because I love the little coffee shop and then it actually had this cute little um, tag that's like double-sided and has like little tea teacups on it so anyway so this is something that I, I think I really like the idea of um, like a themed page as well so coffee and the tea and that sort of thing I did cover up the Daphne's diary words slightly just with an extra piece and then on this page is one of my favorite um, folded pockets I've shown you many, many ways to use one page and make pockets and flips and that sort of thing. Um, but this one is kind of like so fun because you've got, you know, many areas to tuck things in, um, even in the back. And it's just all folded with one sheet of paper. I will also link some of those videos below where I have my one page wonders, um, things that you can add to a journal. But anyways, I just wanted to show you how I'm getting started with this. And then, um, yeah, I just started like my planning of my little reference journal that's kind of do using a lot of the Daphne's diary pieces. I have um, another one of my little glue books started that's just like my random one. So I'll, if you want to see me kind of working that, let me know. Leave a comment below. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this quick share of what I've been using my Daphne's diary for lately. I, um, I will be showing you um, some more things as I make them. If you want to see my, my process of, uh, again, putting this reference journal together, let me know and I'll come back and show you that. Um, yeah, so I think that's, that's it for now. 
Okay, so um, let me show you the flip through of the paper block. If you want to see me uh, working in my glue book or in my um, creative glue book, just let me know. Leave a comment below and I see if I can film some of those videos for you. I just don't know um, often enough if you want to see that process or if you just want to see the flip throughs of when I've completed those uh, projects. All right, so let leave a comment below and let me know and let me show you this gorgeous paper block. So this is the paper scrapbook block three and the size of it actually I should tell you because um, you might want to know it's eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So I'm not sure if that's the European paper size, but that's what that is. And I'm just checking that I am in frame. This is the first uh, paper pack that I have from Daphne's Diary. I love this already. And I like that there is such a variety of colors and patterns. I guess the difficulty with these is which side do you choose right when you're working with it like look at these gorgeous little mushrooms this is cute because you could fussy cut these out I like the little um the little set there as well oh, these are nice Again, I guess you could fussy cut these as well. Have you um, seen these paper packs before from Daphne's Diary? Um, let me know in the comments below. They usually have uh, some sort of paper included in their um, issues, like in their magazine issues. But I haven't had the full like paper pad before, which is really gorgeous. You almost think you might need to get two so that oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh i think this is my favorite so far you guys what do you think almost like you have to get two so that you can use both sides right in case you you're using the majority of one page like this is super cute too That's cute for like maybe a recipe journal or like some sort of project with recipes and of course this could be added to it as well this feels like ocean to me for some reason i guess it's like jellyfish maybe and i don't know that's kind of what i see there is cute too. You can fussy cut those out. That's cute. So as I said, this is the number three of the paper packs. Oh, this is nice. I like the, um, like that kind of little, it looks like gold, but it really isn't, I guess. And I believe they have a few different designs or packs in their shop. And I do have a playlist for Daphne's Diary if you wanted to check it out. I've got magazine flip throughs. I have the sticker books, the latest sticker books, their advent calendars, um, and some other goodies as well if you wanted to check out more of their goodies. So yeah, this was actually a really nice paper collection. Like I said, that I think that page that had the, the gorgeous... Um, Oh, where is it now? I'm not going to be able to find it. You guys know which one it is, right? This one. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I think I want to pull the colors from this um, and then kind of make something with it. I really love this one. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, my friends. Thank you for joining me.